David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. We're on day five on this job site. And uh, we've got the driveway completed today. Um, we've got the saw cuts in. This is day two after the pour. We, we just saw cut this morning, pressure washed it. We've still got the next pour, which is the whole patio and the front walkway. This is some uh, some of the irrigation equipment I picked up this morning at Lowe's and I found these and I had never seen these at Lowe's actually in a tub which is nice instead of just a plastic bag so that way I can uh, keep track of my fittings and it's secure it's not gonna spill and get mixed and scattered with everything else so that's a nice little touch I'm gonna use all I'm using rainbird valves on this I'm using a rainbird timer this timer is good for four zones. I like the Rainbird, Rainbird timers especially because they're so easy to program. So simple, anyone can run them. Um, also, what else are we doing today? We're gonna knock that wall out, that side yard wall. That block wall is gonna get knocked out. We're gonna build a gate there. We're gonna build matching gate on the other side. It's gonna be redwood. Um, this whole front yard's getting lawn. We're doing a front planter right here. We're gonna do a mow strip concrete poured in place mow strip right across the front of this column. So we have a, a clear distance in here of, well, it's about 18 inches. So and then some succulents or whatever kind of plants will go in there in front of the wall. And what else? We've got lawn basic. We're gonna go with marathon one, maybe marathon two throughout this whole area from here all the way to the parkway. The parkway is getting grass. We've already got sprinklers down there. We jammed underneath. We jetted underneath the sidewalk on both ends. That way we didn't have to go across that massive tree stump. So we actually, we're gonna connect the two ends on this side of the sidewalk where there is no roots rather than chipping through and running across. So that's what makes it a little easier for us. And uh, anyway, stay tuned. Show you the whole project from start to finish eventually. All right, we're getting ready to knock this wall out of the side yard so we have access both sides of the house. It always makes more sense. It's so much more convenient when you can go all the way around the house without coming to a dead end. So I always recommend this whenever I run into a closed off side yard. I go, oh, let's put a gate here. You're going to really enjoy that once it goes in. So we knocked this wall out. It came out really easy. It's uh, hollow. A hollow block has been here about 80 years. So it did pretty well for being a hollow wall. The only thing that holds these type of walls because they're 4 inch wide is the columns are usually A's or H's and they just lock into that little groove there but those are solid grouted those columns those a's or h's and they got some rebar in those anyway we're getting down to this rain bird uh, sprinkler system installation we're going to start assembling this get them in a nice tight fitting group right by the hose bib Well, that's what you start with right there getting those put in there and make sure that they're tight and that you have a sealant on those threads so that uh, they don't leak on these on all valves they have an arrow pointing the direction the water flows through them These are all three quarter inch valves. Now here's that new service the plumber put in. He left me this little stub out with another valve. 
that way we can isolate the sprinkler system from the house so if you ever have to do work on the sprinklers you don't have to shut the whole house off that's the beauty of uh, having an av a valve in between the water supply and the sprinklers Now with this type of glue here, um, you don't need primer, if you're, especially when you're working with new pipe. Just put the glue on there and it's good to go. So now there'll just be a lot of T's. However many valves you'll have is how many T's you'll have popping up to set your valve on top of. The, the end of the last valve will just be a 90 rather than a T. You could put a T and stub out and put a cap that in case you ever want to add another valve. You could in the future, which is always a nice touch. Although from this point in location, you wouldn't be able to run another valve even if you wanted to add one, because you'd have you'd have to add another pipe underneath the new concrete. So knowing that, you'd either have to put an extra sleeve, which in this case I did put two extra sleeves just for future, because you could pull a low voltage out of the side of this garage here, and then you could shoot it across into the plan or, or along the front of the wall. So I put some extra ones in there just in case he wants to add something. Now the top of these valves should be six inches higher than the highest sprinkler head. And that way you'd never get water back into the house water. The anti-siphon will kick in and uh, stop any water from going into the house that way. So here's how I cut the leads coming off the front end of the valves, stagger them a little bit so each pipe is lower than the next so they're not interfering with each other when I'm trying to run them through the trench. So that one should be your lowest. The furthest one away will be your lowest, and then you'll continually go up. So they're not on top; they're not interfering with with each other. The pipes in the trench. important thing to do after you get all this assembled and before you put the actual spray heads on is to uh, flush the system out because that will blow all the excess glue out, dirt and you won't have to mess with the filters of your spray heads or bubblers because we are going to have a bubbler on one of these valves. Two valves is just for the lawn and parkway and one valve is going to be for the bubbler for the planter area. And on that last valve, which is for the uh, planter, I'm going to put a 25 PSI. That way the water um, pressure is at the right pressure for the drip heads. On the top of that block and column, we're going to have pre-cast double bull nose concrete caps. Those are special ordered, so those will be the last thing we do on this job.
So all the sprinklers on. I've pressure tested them all the way underneath the, where the co new concrete's going to go. And that way I know that there's no leaks on the valves, no leaks under the slab and any of the pipes. Because what I did is I capped them all, left the water under pressure, all the valves overnight, verify there was no leaks. And then I know I'm good to pour the concrete. That trench along the back of sidewalk right there will have one uh, one sprinkler line spring in towards the lawn. There will be another line there that connects both sides of the parkway where we go we where we jetted under the sidewalk rather than going across the tree area because that tree is going to eventually have to come out of there at some point anyway. And the less pipes around it, the better for everybody because they won't have to uh, deal with repairing them. Since we have the driveway already poured, we will be doweling some uh, steel into that driveway so it ties in this walkway with the driveway so they'll stay uh, at the same level. In this patio area, what we did for drainage here, because we don't have any drains in this area, we just raised at the center of the wall is the high point and it drains both directions. That sewer clean out will be getting cut off and a brass collar will be putting, be putting around that. First thing I'm gonna do before I cut into this pipe is remove that cap and look inside to make sure there's nothing else in there that I'm unaware of. Now on this side yard, we have some drains in here. However, we do have slope from the back to the front. So these these uh, area drains will pick up a little water, but even if they didn't, it would still run out. That drain that we put there, that goes all the way to back of sidewalk and it goes into the backyard. Just in case it's ever needed, it's there. It's not like it's going to be put to a whole lot of use, but um, if needed, it could be continued throughout the backyard for a potential phase two. Now here's one of the sprinkler valves, and this is going to be on our, our planter, on our bubblers, or drip system. And I'm going to put the pressure reducer right here, 25 uh, PSI. I just taped that off because we're not to the point to continue the uh, bubbler system or drip system at this point until we get the most drip in. After we get the most drip, then we'll continue this drip system out. So here's the outside edge of the most strip. It's going to be a six inch wide most strip on a slight radius. So 
So that line right there was just representing a level line. I didn't like that first layout I did, so I moved the stakes over to get a little nicer, smoother radius. Now I cut some six inch spreaders and I put them at every stake. Now I know I've got six inches consistently all the way through. So we have sprinkler heads all the way around the perimeter at about 12 foot spacing. And these are 15 foot spray heads. So we almost have, we almost, we have a good overlap. The rebar we're putting in here is a 3-8, also known as number 3. And we're putting them at 2 foot centers in both directions. Also, we will be adding some fiber mesh, which I happen to have in stock at 350 a pound. In my storefront through the website or through the description on the YouTube page. And there's a few other little goodies in there like shirts by the way we will i'm going to be getting some new shirt designs pretty soon the old ones are almost out of stock so my next order i'm going to do a custom a little bit nicer looking design i already have the new design i just have to uh turn it into the shirt shirt guy and print them up So there's the outline of the concrete and now you can see how big the grass area is going to be. It's about 30 by 30 area for that lawn. Here goes the rebar dowels tying the two slabs together. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for the next part because we'll be releasing it real soon. Have a good one.